question, but we know that there's pain muscles yeah. here, the abductor hallucis, the uh, fibratus plantar, and the flexor digitorum brevis yeah. all have the same attachment as the plantar fascia. As a matter of fact, where the spur is found is not between the, the calcaneus and the fascius. It's found between the spine, it's, it's in the muscle tissue, which makes sense, because that's dynamically pulling on the bone. So thought process would be is that you've got to be like a cut down there. Every time you stand and load it, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're stressing those tissues. So our thought process was do something immediate, even though it's a DFO or surgeon, to take the stress off that, no different than putting steric strips on a cut. And the idea would be to offload those tissues to allow them to rest, allow the tissues to hopefully, and if you've worked with somebody with plantar fasciitis, nine times out of 10, it's getting more common. I'm going to tell you right away, it feels good. It feels better. But you could tape them as well. And then the thought process would be, great, now that you're feeling better, um, that's not to say that I wouldn't manipulate them. I'm going to follow Josh Doolin's book called The Guy Can't Eat It. But it won't say that I can't do that. Or, and, 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 and I immediately would start them on a, I, I, there's a, uh, this, this plantar fascia specific stretch and I'll take it to you. Because the plantar fascia, the plantar fascia specific program that, that I developed, that I don't want to say I developed, but Steve Giovanni and uh, a physical therapist, um, Debbie Malazinski, published the first paper on plantar fascia specific stretching. The thing that bothered me is they sort of didn't indicate, sitting in here, so I'm going to lower this down. So, see, the thing that bothered me about the, their, their, their protocol is it's a great idea, it's a great technique. The downside is, um, I'm going to start here, you can come around. You see, and the cool thing is, um, I'm just going to leave it there because I want to leave a little space at the top. That's perfect. And now, that first trip was just to lay down to hold those ends down. Now, what I'm going to do is come in here, come around, and when I get to the arch, I'm going to get the tug up. Gotta be a little careful around that anterior tip because you always worry about them. I just crease the tape, I bend it in a little bit so they don't get a sharp edge effect. And then the cool thing is, I can just get a little bit more reinforcement. 